and three, two, one, boom, and we are back with another episode of Scratch Gamers. It's a Scratch dialogue once again as we take on Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. So we checked out um, Game of Thrones finale. Notice I didn't do the intro this time. Yeah, I was cognizant of that. I was like, "Don't do the intro this time." <laughs> uh, anyway, so we checked out Game of Thrones. If you're wondering about the intro thing, check out a previous episode, and yeah. you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about. Right. So we checked out Game of Thrones yesterday. Final ending. I remember Vish showing me this a long time ago. I remember the first time you tried to show me Game of Thrones, and I was like, "I, I had to spin. I had to sell it to you, right? You did. You I did. I had to sell it to you because <laughs> my time is very valuable." And I was like, "I can't watch something." That I'll end up leaving, or else it'll feel like a waste of time. But yeah. no, you did. You did get me on Game of Thrones. What I liked is the realism of it, the Game of Thrones. So that's you know? yeah, that's what I sold you on. But there then was it was no funny because then because the there was no magic. You're like, oh, there's this is not a magic show. So I was like, all right, cool, I'll watch it. Like it's fantasy, but no, yeah, no, like no magic. And but. then all of a sudden, we got White Walkers. We got dragons at the end. <laughs> Anyways, so this is basically going to cover. Our Game of Thrones experience, uh, memories, yes. but primarily what we thought of the final episode, yes, series the f- finale. The, the, yes. The so end right of off, era. yeah, the end of an era, as you put it. Yeah. Um, so, I guess to kick it off, what do you think? What was your, what was your you, overall impression? Of overall the impression finale? of the whole thing or the finale we're talking the about? Finale, finale. The finale. Now. Uh, mm, not where I would have thought uh, it was going to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I was satisfied with certain characters' endings and not satisfied with others. Okay. It was a mixed Okay, feeling. okay. Interesting. Okay. Yes. I f- All right, so, so you had mixed feelings. You liked it, but you also didn't really like it. Yeah. All right, so for me... I hated it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is so bad. Like, you and how could many you, others. <laughs> how could you make the most amazing series ever? You actually got my attention. Mm-hmm. And you held it. Yeah. And then you just, like, let it go at the very end. It was, it mm. was like you were really... Ch- you could feel like they were trying to wrap it up any way they could. Uh, yeah. I mean... It like, did. It did feel. I felt that the season did feel quick, but again, it's also six episodes, and they tried to make those episodes longer. But then you, you just sometimes. But it's like, how do you finish three stories? But it's not. Yeah. See, that's six other, episodes. Right, but it, I mean, that's also what TV's like. You can't. No, but really, that, that's what I'm saying. It felt yeah. like TV. All the other yeah. seasons felt like, whoa, this is like some epic, like movie type. Like this never. I've never seen this before. And then this one felt like TV. Like I was watching TV, mm-hmm. you know. I think I think I felt that from the past couple seasons though. When, really? When yeah, when they finished the uh, which when, which when, which season? So once they were past the books, then it became slowly. Like there must have More been TV ish. Yeah, oh. because I, I think, what, what season is that? Uh, I think it was after four or five. Oh no! So, so that's where I while. felt a little bit of. So they must have. Ha- they. I think they had some writing from an unpublished. Like he hasn't published his book yet, but like he probably had more idea where the story was going. Right. So they had a bit more to work with. Okay. And then by the end, like he knows the ending, but he hasn't written the, written the ending yet, right? Oh. So now. Oh, yeah. interesting. So they just wrapped it up. Yeah. Because he didn't finish. I didn't know that. That makes complete yeah, sense now. Yeah. No, no, but like, like he has an idea. He knows where the ending. So he be knows state. Bran's gonna be the the one. Yeah. Well, all spoilers here. Yeah. Yeah, all spoilers. <laughs> yeah, sure. But like, all right. So all right, let, let's go through it. So, so what that's what he said. Of? That's what he said in an interview that it'll end the same way in the book. Okay. So. So what did you think about the multiple storylines? So like, let, let's go through Daenerys first. What do you think about her shift and her ending? Uh, I think the shift uh, was going to happen. You yeah, did feel that, but it was so abrupt. But because of because it's short, that it felt yes, all in one episode, mm-hmm. and I don't think they showed enough of like to sh- show her go mad or go crazy. Yeah, totally. I think to sell it for us. True. Um, this should have been like three I, more seasons. The other problems I had with the this season was, I I know they focused more on. Like showing the character a lot in a lot of those sh- long shots. Okay. And 
I feel like that. Why are you, this is just adding more to make it longer? I see you're trying to get their emotion or whatnot, but it just didn't work out. Right, right. I, right, I felt right. a lot of that in this season. That well, your seems like you're just making it longer than it needs to be. Right, right, right. I get like, what you're saying. Like you know what I mean? Where they could have filled in certain things, like as to maybe showing off why Daenerys. Like they they only try to show her face, and as she would go a little bit mad or like got pissed uh, mm-hmm. more and more like in the previous episode but like they could have shown some way to show like oh like the flashbacks of all the things that went bad and i can see now why she's gone this way right 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 right, right. i see what you're saying maybe it's just because the writers had like nothing left i don't yeah i mean i don't think that the i don't want to necessarily always blame the writers i don't know who you know but the writers are the, the catalyst for the story, though. No, I know, I know. I'm just saying, I, I, I think in a lot of parts, it was still... Like, there's still many parts that were good, but it's just that I think the ending was just not where... Okay, so what did you, what did you think that was good? In this season? Or in... Um, well, the season, like the way it ended. Well, there were certain characters that I liked in... in like for Arya, for midway through the season, I didn't see anything happen to her after her she kills the Night King, mm. right? So that was a little bit boring for Arya. But yeah, true, true. And we all thought she was gonna do like kill one of the Green Eyed people, right? Yeah. Like so, or, or they were trying to. I guess they didn't show it off, or like, I I think we liked her like her assassin like character yeah but they didn't like they didn't focus on that i think that what they tried to do was try to make her become more human again and not be more like just kill kill but that's so lame but i uh, see i think that they weren't i didn't like i've been i watched other people's reviews and get that perspective but then they didn't show that if they were trying to do that i didn't feel i just felt like it wasn't portrayed correctly in that way for right right right. yeah hmm all right, so what do you think about Tyrion? So Tyrion's storyline I thought was actually pretty good. I think he ended off on a really good note. <laughs> True, I agree with that one. Right. Yeah, all right. What do you think about Jon Snow? Uh, thinking about it again, at, at first glance when I watched it, I did not. But then when I re... Um, uh, like, uh, got another perspective, I think I did... John got what he wanted, actually. True. He did not okay. want to be taking control of anything. He didn't want to make decisions. He never true. wanted to be king. True, true, true. And he just bas- he got what he... like. He, he just wants to live with the, the wildlings. All right, so what do you think about Bran being king? So now Bran being king... Uh, see, I think that they were doing that so that... Because nobody would have guessed Bran would be king. So they just sure. made Bran King, so they just threw us all off. But then it's like... It made sense when you look back at it. It, it makes sense in some way, but there was no hints at it. True. There was no, <clears throat> maybe in the books there would be hints at it, because that's why they didn't, weren't able to like, really show it in, in, in the show. I, I agree, but with that, when he said, like, why do you think I'm here? I'm like, actually, yeah, as the Three-Eyed Raven, you would see the future, so he knew how no, to no, get no, to No, no, of course that. Of, of course, yes. But it just didn't, like, there was no hints at that. Right, or right, right, right. Some there's, way there's to... There's no way you could have tied it together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, just like... Like, there was little hints of Arya going to kill the Night King, right? Th- like that, the... Right, right. You know, right. know what I mean? Like, there was nothing... He didn't say or anything that kind of s- said in a way, because he kept saying that he's not Bran. Right. It's so... So, uh, so it's not like a domino uh, effect. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, There was no lead it. up to that or yeah, yeah, some yeah, yeah. hint at it. So uh, that's why I felt like uh, he just somehow scapegoated in just because they wanted to shock us. Ah, uh, yeah, true. I feel that. I feel right? that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and then he's just a head figure. He's not really going to do anything as king. It's just Tyrion who's actually the one leading this stuff. I like how he's like. Um, Which was I was okay with for Tyrion to be in that position. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I liked how he was like, "You're going to be my hand." And he's like, "No, pick someone else." And then he's <laughs> like, uh, "What better?" Uh, so punishment. that line was good. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So I I saw this this morning. Mr. Eddie Wong, uh, the chef guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wrote this. Daenerys is Mao slash Fidel slash Alexander the Great, Genghis Caesar. <laughs> He's one of those characters. Right. Jon Snow is Martin Luther King, Gandhi, or JFK. <laughs> right. Sansa is Hillary Clinton. <laughs> I can see that. 
uh, Sam is every citizen of every country. Yeah, okay. Right, because it's like, oh, democracy. <laughs> democracy, and just uh, did all chuck that. I, I, I thought, okay, so that part when they when they brought up democracy, we kind of mocked it a bit. But then I liked that they mocked him for that. So. But I was, I was that like, would that would have been it. sick. Like, that is how you're going to break the wheel, right? But yeah. then, like, yeah. No, no, his was the most logical. His was logical, but then it made it wouldn't make sense at the time. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I take that back. His, his was not, not the logical. most logical because that's, like, America right now. It's like, why did we... Why did we... I still got to watch Brexit, but why did <laughs> they get Trump in president? Yeah. But it's because you're appealing to the masses, not to the people who should be fit to yeah, make this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So I I'm I agree that it shouldn't be de- democratic. Well, it wouldn't make sense even at that time. Like there's he's tr- there are you going to get votes? Yeah, yeah, totally yeah, yeah. So they uh so you know, let me finish this. Uh Bran is the internet. <laughs> right? He's everything, can see everything. And uh Arya is Batman. Right. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like those comparisons. So, uh, so let me. Yeah, so so John's ending, I was I was fine with. Bran, not so much. But whatever, right? Uh, Arya's ending is. I, I didn't like John. Arya, ending. it made sense, but it's just right. like I really thought he's gonna be king. But I guess that's the bait and switch. Uh, I think so because I don't think he never wanted it, so he it made sense for him not to be. Yeah. Okay. Fine. And for him to also kill Daenerys, it wouldn't make sense for him to have been chosen. Arya's was so lame. Arya's was a setup for a seek for a spin-off. Yeah, it was like it was like they're prepping. I was like, uh <laughs> yes. <laughs> like it's you can just smell the the freaking spin-offs on off right. that one. Yeah. Like Grey Worm, he's got a spin-off. Um <laughs> yeah, Arya's got that spin-off. Right. Who else? Oh, you could totally see Jon Snow's spin-off. But not spin off because I'm sure he's done. But it's like a extended no. story of yeah. like the wildlings now. So, like what I heard was that they had five um, pilots or five uh, spin off titles pilots? for spin offs, but oh, no, they I... are only. I think they've only filmed three of them or two of them. I saw this just now before or we uh, filmed the recording. pilot. Yeah, um, they're already starting a prequel to Game of Thrones. They're yeah, no, no, no. That, that that's what I'm saying. So the one that they uh, went forward with was the prequel one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I I, I know. think they're gonna have a heart. Like I don't think a lot of people were happy with this ending. Uh, Do you see that uh, fifty thousand people I don't, I don't signed know. the petition to make them redo season <laughs> redo eight? the season? Yeah. Eight, yeah, I would sign it. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever been so committed to a TV show that I'm like, <laughs> yeah, because we waited so long and this is how it ended. It was right. like, right. Uh, you made me wait, and I was so hyped. But you know what's funny? They they uh-huh. asked um, Amelia Clark, Grey Worm, and uh, that other girl, m- the, her translator. Mm-hmm. They asked them at the red carpet, and they're like, "Oh, like you filmed all your seasons?" And they're like, "Yeah." And like, what do you think of the se- season? They're like, "Best." She uh, Amelia Clark was like, "Best season ever," and then started laughing. So it's mm-hmm. like they were kind of hinting at the fact that it's not the best season ever, right? really didn't like it <laughs> but yeah so what else uh another cor- i thought well, this was corny uh jamie I, lannister I, and cersei okay yeah there is like uh i was fine with that actually but it was just like so quick oh for them to die yeah i was just like oh they're dead no oh, okay no i thought that was um i thought that was fine uh i thought the scene when Tyrion found them. But they were so, like, powerful. And then the way they die is just, like, oh, rocks. Well, yeah, actually, what I so what I liked in that episode was that I felt sorry for Cersei. Ah, that was Which just, switched. like, the shame. That was just, like, the shame episode. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, where we all hate, going into that episode, we hated Cersei. But that switched for me by the end of that. But you know what that is? That's just, that's just the brilliance of Game of Thrones being, yeah. like... Oh, there is no black or white. It's all gray. It's like yeah. you can root for the bad guy once right. in a while, yeah. you know, and also, yeah. like hate on the good guy once in a while, mm-hmm. you know. Like, um, what's his name? The dude, Grey Worm? No, not Grey Worm. The dude. Well, I guess they're both unsullied. They're both um, eunuchs. I mean, uh, oh, you talking about Varys? No, no, huh? the other guy, the the brother of uh, Sansa. Oh yeah, yeah you're, okay. You're a good man. Uh, Greyjoy. Greyjoy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dion, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I, man, that could have ended so many crazier ways. Like they all could have died. <laughs> there's so many Bren ways, of course. Yeah, Freaking yeah. the Night King. Yeah, yeah. And there's so many like, ways. Yeah. Oh, actually, none of that. <laughs> Happy ending. Uh it was. I get it was a, it see, was a this, business, it's a business move. Yeah, that's why you're doing a happy ending because you want to Avengers this. You know, you want to be able to expand it beyond what it's currently at. No, I mean you could still have done it without having a happy ending too, though. So uh, why do you think they did the happy ending? I even that scene, the the cheesiest scene. I was think that's Tyrion. where <laughs> at the table, and then they're all like. See, that was another scene. I was uh, like, oh my God, waste, this is why are so we corny, bro. Wasted time again. Like, that, that was a long shot that I didn't need. When he, like, fixed the chairs. Yeah. And I was like, why are you fixing the chairs? And then, like, <laughs> where's Draco? I'll go find him. You guys carry on. And, yeah. And then it was, like, so mundane. I get it. Like, yeah, being a leader is mundane, but it's, like, still. I think someone should uh, redo those when the books are out. Not... And just do it as a cartoon or something like that, where I can go and watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I did not like that. What do you think about uh, Sansa? Mixed, mixed. Sansa's ending? Uh, I thought that was fine. I thought that was kind of cool, actually. Yeah, because like she went from like this little girl, like watching Ned Stark's kids develop into these people. It was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, like that's so, where they ended up. Yeah, Sansa's was cool. Arya's was meh. Jon's was like, oh god. I actually, please, I, I, I didn't mind. I thought at first. That's what I'm saying. At first, I thought that. Then I, 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 I changed my mind on Jon's a bit. Yeah, but it made sense for where he's gonna lead based on what he did. Totally, totally. It, so. It's just, it's just for me. Like the John thing was just like true. Like the whole better. Targaryen meant nothing. Exactly, exactly. But that's the thing that you that, did nothing uh, with it. Yeah, but that happens. That, that oh. part I, I was okay. They didn't even try and burn him. So the that, dragon, no, like, so that, on. that scene I felt was a little weird. I, I think it was symbolic, but it was just it felt a little corny. And I think he yeah, why is this dragon? Why didn't he at least? I think he yeah. should have at least burn John. It would have made more sense. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> why, yeah, exactly. So, so okay, so. At the end of this show, the dragon had the moral high ground. It was like, you know what? We shouldn't have a king. So he melted it. Like, yeah, they gave... They right, gave, but... Or maybe he knew that uh, there's already a chair because it's brand. <laughs> May, yeah, maybe. Gee, <laughs> ah, that's funny. But, like, why did they make the dragon so freaking cognizant? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. they made him, like... Able to rationalize. Like the he fact would he's not. Burn well, the, he would have totally burned John. He, he would have burned John. Yeah, yeah. Why are you burning the chair? It made no sense. That that's that's like the ultimate epitome of corniness. Yeah. That, that the that's dragon not, was like, yeah. like, you killed her, and all of this was because of the greed of humans. I will burn this chair. Mm. You know, mm. like, come on. Right. Like, what is this? I didn't know Disney made this. <laughs> that was HBO, bro. That was HBO. Right, right. It's 18 plus, but it wasn't. <laughs> ah, it was, that was like a PG-13 ending. Mm. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah, see, the dog, the dog doesn't like it either. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to... Uh, I mean, It this, started uh, off so good. I mean, I, that's true. So, I, I think this is the biggest that HBO's ever had uh, for a show. And they just crapped the bed in the last season. Yeah, so Especially I don't, the last episode. Yeah, and I don't know, uh, I mean, uh, what that does for the future HBO. I mean, <laughs> I yeah, think they'll be true. fine as long as they keep making good stories, but it just, ah. it was not, uh, not what we wanted. Yeah, no. I would, I would think. Not at all. Not at all what we wanted. Uh, are you going to watch the, the spinoffs? Uh, it depends on what they do and how they do it, I guess. I, I can't trust it anymore. Like, it was funny because when we were watching it, remember when it started, I was like, you oh, wanted to I want to see the whole series all over yeah, again, yeah, you know, like, because yeah. it's all going to connect and it's right. going to be this amazing thing. Right. And then, like, after that episode, I was like, yeah, I'm, I don't want to watch this again. Because it's like, I know where it's going to end and it's like, there's no, like, crazy twist. You know what I mean? Like, there was nothing that was like, like, it would be cool to see that all play out again because the way it ended was so corny. It's just like, <laughs> okay, I know the cheese is coming, you know? Right. And if you only watch it halfway through, then it's not going to end and mm-hmm. it's never going to change. So it's like, mm, in my head, pass. We're done. We're done with that series. <laughs> I think 
I think they should have ended it with the Night King. Like that was an amazing episode. Or or, or that's this is what I just you just remind me with the Night King. The Night King knew all along that Bran was going to be king. And that's why he wanted that's to stop him. That's why he wanted to kill him. But for what? <laughs> that, they, they never I mean, said that. I get it. There was no that's what I'm saying. There was no notion of that. Maybe if there was. Actually, that would have been cool. That would have <laughs> been cool. Exactly. Actually, that would have been cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so who is the Night King? They never explained that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, come on. it never went into that. There were so, so many, many theories that people holes. had that are, yeah, like, uh, so many not explained. What was Bran doing? I mean. Yeah, Bran, uh, Bran showed up. What was that meme he said? Like, uh, Bran is the, uh, the kid in the group project who doesn't do anything but still gets an A. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like what? You weren't even there, bro. Everyone saved uh, you. Everyone did all the work. You you told everyone that John was a Targaryen for no reason. Cause it didn't matter. It didn't change. But anything. again, it would all make sense if there was any little hints of. But it didn't, him being that for, for sure, for sure. But it didn't change. And him anything. leading it that way. Him it, leading it that way. That he wouldn't be the one, of course, to kill Daenerys. It would be John. But he's leading it this way. But what was the point? Oh. But there's no hints to that. That's what I'm saying. Right. So it was like he had to play these cards yes. in this manner. It would so make that, more sense so John if there would was. Kill him. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. That makes sense. But yeah. that theory did not exist at all because <laughs> there was, was no hints of this the at all. <laughs> That's what we're, what we're trying to do now is piece together the last bit of salvation to keep this thing good. <laughs> yes. Like, well, they probably are we, are this. We just trying to find this. thing. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, that's that cognitive <laughs> dissonance right there. It's like, right. it's so bad, but we already purchased it <laughs> with our time of watching. Right. Right. So now right. it's like, yeah. all right, let's just pretend like it's good. Mm. Like, yeah, they knew all along. Yeah. Right. I, I really like the show for its ability to speak to human nature. Mm. You know, like, that's that's what really got me for Game of Thrones. It's like strategy, like business strategy. So th- yes, that's what I loved about it. Like those are the things that caught my attention. Like politics. Well, yeah, politics. That's what it was. Um, like, politics. The way yeah. monarchy works. Who has power? Mm-hmm. Like I will never forget that line that Cersei had. Knowledge is power. Uh, no like, power is power. Yeah, like when uh, uh, Littlefinger tried to um, show off his power a little yeah, bit, yeah, but yeah. then uh, Cersei's. She flexed like, on him. She, yeah, because like, everyone talks about knowledge is power, but then she's like, no, power is power. If you've got power, you got all. It doesn't matter That's what knowledge true, you for have. Sure, for sure. I can just kill you. Like, that was a really interesting stuff but that's because these are from the books that he's totally, you know, thought and, out. And also, yeah. and also it was really cool when we found out that Littlefinger was the one who orchestrated everything. Yes. Because without him, mm-hmm. Ned Stark's thing wouldn't have went in motion. But he did it out of jealousy. Yeah. And then we got cheese at the end. So that didn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so we got up to this point. Yeah. So that story really should have just ended when they killed Littlefinger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we right. figured out, we figured it out, guys. We figured out how it all started. But mm-hmm. then it's like, how are we going to end this? With mega cheese. <laughs> you know, like what, like, what was the point of anything? <sighs> That's true. Right? Like... It didn't matter who was a Targaryen. didn't matter about Littlefinger. didn't matter that... See, all of those things I think would have been fine if we had hints that Bran was going to be who he's going to be. True. I think that would have made more sense because yeah, Bran, Bran would have led so everything to it. was so random. It was so random. That's what I felt. <laughs> yeah. Who has the better story? Yeah. Well, we rule through stories. Uh, I was like, come on, bro. <laughs> I think John had the better story, but... True. John did have the better story. John did have the he better story. He was the story. secret... Oh, yeah, 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 he did but have then, a better story. But then, like, I get why he couldn't, but then who else? Arya had a better story. Uh, I mean, Tyrion had a better story. Yeah, true, Tyrion did have a better story. There's something, um, <sighs> hold on, let me find it. Uh, they, it was so funny. It's not like, oh, Bran, it it's not like Bran crawled all the way to the... <laughs> so, so they said... Uh, who has a better story than Bran? And it showed all of the people that have a better story than Bran. <laughs> like, there's, like, Littlefinger's there, Daenerys. Like, ev- everyone that died, basically. They all yeah, have better yeah, stories yeah. than Oh, Bran. the other part, too, other part, too, what I saw. The Bran's was so random. What someone said was kind of funny was, because um, everyone said I to him being king, and then Sansa goes, because he's the last one, he's like, well, I, w- I want to be independent. 
Oh yeah, yeah, and then, yeah but yeah. nobody else can say anything because they already said I. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But and she also had the in because she's like the uh, sister, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but then everyone would be like, wait, why don't I be independent? Then? <laughs> yeah, totally. But they already said I. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, there were great parts to Game of Thrones. What do you mean? I mean, great seasons. In, be- in, in between, just not the ending. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Just not the ending. No, Game of Thrones is amazing. Up until I don't the think end. there's, there, yeah, I don't think there's, I've ever seen a show like this. Or uh, even a topic that, you know. But now, it, now it's like, it's completely been ruined. In my yeah. mind, it's like, right. the way it ended is just like, you've totally undone everything mm. that this series, like, stood on. Right, because none of it matter. They killed Danny so quickly. It was like what? It wasn't a, like I, I, he just walked through. I wouldn't he mind. Yeah, like, it, what? It, it, uh, right. that was it. Right, like it and you could tell could have been more coming. dramatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was like ah, uh, you could have done it a bit more dramatic because or like subtle or like yeah. I mean, I guess it. And then to they be, just showed like yeah. Jon Snow in the freaking jail. That was so dumb. <laughs> it was like after he got like he killed her and then it jumped like months later. It was just like, oh man, like this is it? This is, this is the undoing? Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. This is what we waited 10 years for? Yeah, how, how <laughs> long has the, it's been 10 years? I think it's been 10 years. Yeah, so 10 years and to end it like this has completely done undone 10 years of my life. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess it's. I mean, maybe it's hard to make good endings, but I, th- I think there may have been other ways to do it. But would you? No, I wouldn't read the books. I was gonna say, would you read the book? No, like, no, 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 I wouldn't. Books. No. I'm so that's what I said to make a cartoon out of it. So, so I. Right, so, does this beat Battlestar for you then? Ah, uh, Battlestar had a good ending, though. I know that's the thing, right? So it's like, <laughs> it's like this. If this ended amazing, if this ended amazing, I think it would have. But now, Battlestar I was is not, solidified I, I in was, your mind. Yes, I was not satisfied by the ending. Yeah. So I, I can't give it to Game of Thrones. It, it did meet a lot of things, but it just did not meet this last bit here. So where does um, because you like shows a lot? Is it Battlestar's number one, then Game of Thrones number two, or is there something that beat Game of Thrones? No, I don't think. I think I think Game of Thrones is number two. I don't think there's anything that comes. Even remotely close? Yeah, I don't think so. Not not this level of storytelling, no. Mm. Of the past seasons, not this season. <laughs> well, yeah, that one's more for you because like I'm not I'm not really into like TV shows. So like yeah. for me, Game of Thrones is like is the only one I watched from yeah. like every well, single episode. Well, actually, I mean, I mean there are other ones. Twenty four. I, like. I did like Leftovers, another HBO. Not twenty four. What? Uh, didn't you still like? You love that show. Uh, no, that was just a normal show. Prison to... Break was amazing. Uh, these are not level. These are not the same level of caliber that HBO does. Uh, uh, there were some leftovers I thought was really good. Um, that also ended pretty good in my opinion. Only three seasons. Uh, it was, that was HBO. Um, uh, and then there's Westworld that still is on. So. Another HBO show, which is not bad, but I heard Russ Roll is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're, you know, I, I, I don't know why. I, the many shows HBO has had good endings just didn't work out for this one. Yeah, this was this is a this is a poor one. Yes. Yeah, I, I there's and there I think there was a lot of pro, like controversy you know, or like things people didn't like about it throughout the season and just wonder what HBO thought of it. <laughs> it's funny because like there's so many lessons in Game of Thrones but I can't even reference it anymore because all I think is what how crappy it ended. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's that thing where mm. um in psychology where you're like you you're always remembered by the first and the last thing. Your first and your last impression. Right. You're never remembered by what happened in the middle. And like, yeah. Game of Thrones started amazing, but it ended so crap. Mm. So it's like all I can remember is the crap. 
Yeah. But the only uh, one thing I will give it to, oh, Game of Thrones for is like how many people were really, like like the amount of people it, that it changed the world. Yeah. Yeah. That like, it got a lot of people. Toronto attention. is we the North, because of yeah, Game of why? Thrones. Why? Because of Game of Thrones. Yeah. 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 So. It was a cultural phenomenon that affected that, the whole world. I that say. makes you. You know what it's sort of like. Actually, no, is it, uh, I'll save that for off air. This is a really bad analogy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. uh, I'll try to think about less um, bad one. It's sort of like it's sort of like when you're a kid. This is the this is a nicer analogy. It's sort of like when you're mm-hmm. a kid and you eat like a lot of candy. Yeah. Because you're like, oh, candy's so good, and then you find out that candy gives you cavities <laughs> if you don't brush your teeth. Right. Sort of like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Final thoughts? Uh, I'm waiting for that cartoon. <laughs> um, watch the Dark Knight series. Okay. <laughs> because that was that was good. Yeah, they should have made Christopher Nolan make this. Oh, Chris Nolan, Christopher Nolan's really good. His, uh, his movies are epic. Yes. Yeah. What is, Sign well, in. I don't know. Let's see what happens with Star Wars because uh, why it's the same. These are the two guys that help make write Star, write Star Wars. I think who did Christopher uh, Nolan wrote no, Star no, Wars. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, not Christopher Nolan. The, 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 the George R. R. Martin. No, no, no. The ones for Game of Thrones. The 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 lead writers or the the two guys who wrote Star Wars. Wars? No, yeah, the new one, I think. Oh no, that's what I read. Like, if you didn't like Game of Thrones, I don't know if you like Star Wars. Oh well, Star Wars already. <laughs> Well, we'll see how well this one does. They thought, anyways. I don't know. Let's let's see where this goes. Yeah. All right. So, I'm sad. <laughs> that's that's pretty. I'm much uh, it. mixed feelings. You're ambivalent, and I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. Notice none of us, both of us, didn't say good. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so Game of Thrones leaves you with a feeling of either ambivalence uh, geez, or yeah. sadness. Yeah. I can't like. You I don't know. Even say I don't it's know good. what to say. I can't. I know. I can't. I know. All right. Well, <laughs> hopefully we'll get on that vice thing, vice thing soon. Yeah. Subscribe dialogue. Stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, don't watch Game of Thrones. Unless well, it's the first four seasons. Yeah. Yeah. And then read the books after when they're out. Yeah. Or I won't. Cr- I won't though. But whatever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Until next time. All right. Take it easy. Peace.